Welcome to EC Elimu, Learning Simplified, and welcome to this lesson. In the previous lesson, we discussed rotation of mirror in clockwise direction, and we realized that when a mirror is rotated at an angle theta in a clockwise direction, the reflected ray will turn twice the angle at which the mirror was rotated. Now in this lesson, we are going to discuss rotation of mirrors in anticlockwise direction. And surprisingly, what we are going to realize is that the angle through which the reflected ray will rotate will be twice the angle through which the mirror is rotated. But we are going to use a totally different approach to prove that. My name is Albert. I hope you will enjoy the lesson. By the end of this lesson, I expect you to be able to prove using ray diagrams and the laws of reflection that when a mirror is rotated at an angle theta in an clockwise direction, the reflected ray will rotate twice the angle through which the mirror is rotated. So if we have a mirror here in a horizontal surface like that, let's call it this one mirror one and then this mirror one we have a normal n naught and then this normal n naught we have a ray to that point or a incident ray which will form an angle i to the normal and then at this point of incidence it will be reflected to form r naught which is the uh, uh, reflected ray and then this reflected ray will form an angle r to the normal then now, if we rotate this mirror, if we rotate this mirror and keep the source constant, so we rotate this mirror in anticlockwise direction, we just tilt this side up there, then now we will have our new position of the mirror as M2. Now, if this angle that we have rotated is theta, then now it means we have to have a normal to this mirror too. N0 cannot give a normal because this angle will not be 90 degrees. So we'll have to have a new normal in such a way that it forms 90 degrees to this new mirror. And let's call it N1 now. So for this new mirror with red, it will have its normal there. And remember, it's the same mirror that we rotated. We just rotated this mirror. Therefore, it means now we will have a new angle of incidence. Since this um, incident ray does not change, so it means the, new, the normal now has come close. This normal has rotated through an angle equal to the angle of rotation of the mirror, that is theta. Then now, the angle of incidence, which was I, initially we had I as our angle of incidence. So it means in this case, if the normal comes close to the incident ray, we will have a new angle of incidence. This one here, this angle of incidence will be less than the initial angle of incidence. And in this case, it will be equals to I subtract uh, theta. This angle of incidence will be equals to I subtract theta. And then if that is now the angle of incidence, and remember, angle of incidence is, is supposed to be equal to the angle of reflection, then if this angle of incidence has reduced, then it means the angle of reflection also has to reduce. The angle of reflection will have to reduce in such a way that the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. Now, if our angle of reflection uh, re reduce, and then it will shift down from R0 to R1, and this is the angle we are going to be interested in. So in this case, what we will realize, we will form our new angle of reflection here, which will range from this point here, from here to here. And remember, our law of reflection states that the angle of incidence is always equal to the angle of reflection. So this one angle here will be I minus theta. Then now we will be interested in finding angle X. So for us to prove that when a mirror is rotated in anticlockwise direction, it turn, the reflected ray turns through to theta, then what we need is a mirror which is horizontal to the surface like that, call it M1, 
And then this mirror has a, a normal line, which is N naught. Then this normal, there is a, a reflected, a, an incident ray from this point from a source, which forms an angle I with the mirror. Then this ray gets reflected to form R naught, which also forms an angle R. But for the purpose of this one, let's call it I, because I is equal to R. Then in this case, this is our reflected ray. Now, if we rotate this mirror in anticlockwise direction, if we rotate this mirror in anticlockwise direction, so that the point of incidence is kept constant, then this mirror, let's call it M2, and then the angle through which it has rotated here, we call it theta. Then in this case, the normal we have that is N0 cannot give 90 degrees to this mirror. Then this mirror will have its own normal. In this case, let's call it uh, N1. Let's have a normal here. This is our N1. And now in this N1, it means now since the source of light is constant, then I has not changed. Then it means we will have our new angle of incidence here which will be less than the initial angle of incidence. Now, for us to find this angle of incidence, then remember, this, um, this angle through which N has moved is the same as the angle through which the mirror has been rotated. This is the same as theta. Now, for us to find our new angle of incidence, then we will take the old angle that is I from I to N naught, subtract N1 to N naught, which is a theta. So the our new angle of incidence is I minus theta. Then now, since this angle has reduced and the law of reflection must be obeyed, then it means now the reflected ray will also move close to the new normal so that the angle of incidence is the same as angle of reflection. So this angle of incidence now will also change to this position. Uh, let's call it R1. Now we will be interested in finding this angle here, X, the angle through which R0 moves to R1, this one X. This is the angle that we are looking for. But now, if it has moved like this, then it means now we'll have angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. So therefore, this angle also here from N1 to R1 is the same as I minus theta. Now, if that is the same as I minus theta, then we are interested with this angle X then it means for us to have x, let me write here, for us to have x, then we will take um, an NO to RO, then we subtract, we subtract R1, we subtract R1 to NO. Now, do we have the angle from NO to RO, this one here, R N O to RO, we have it as I, so we'll take uh, I in this case, then subtract, for us to find X, we need I, then we subtract the angle from R1 to NO, R1 is here, R1 and NO, this angle here. Are we able to find this angle here, R1 to NO? Let me draw it here with a different ink, this one here. Are we able to get this angle? Yes, what do we do? Then what do we do here? We take N1 to R1, then we subtract N1 to NO. We take the all of this angle, we subtract this angle here. Then now what we will get here is uh, I, in this case, what we will get uh, this angle between NO to R1, it will be the same as I minus theta, that is from N1 to R1, then subtract minus, minus theta, minus theta. Let me draw it so that it's visible. So I minus theta, I minus theta, minus theta. I minus theta minus theta, and this one now will give us uh, I minus or plus two theta. Remember, this one is in a bracket like that. 
this one is in bracket like that so it is i minus theta like this then minus theta then now this one will give us uh, i plus 2 theta so in this case let's just write the way it appears so we will subtract i minus theta minus theta then now if we solve this one it will be x is equals to i minus let's solve this bracket on the other side this one here it is the same as um, i this case bracket i then negative times negative positive 2 theta it will be 2 uh, theta then in this case we open the bracket it will be i minus i plus 2 theta then i minus i is equals to 0 plus 2 theta then now x the angle through which the reflected ray rotates is equals to 2 theta so as you can see in both cases either clockwise or anticlockwise the reflected ray will rotate twice the angle through which the uh, mirror rotated now we have a set of questions here which you can perform or which you can handle as a student let me handle the first one so that you can handle the second one and the third one the question reads a mirror i'm going to handle the first one only a mirror is rotated through an angle 15 so theta is 15 degrees in anticlockwise direction through what angle does the reflected ray turn so what we have said is reflected ray will turn twice the angle of incidence so in this case x is going to be 2 times 15 which is going to give us 30 degrees so the reflected ray will rotate uh, at an angle or will turn at an angle of 30 let me do the second one so that you do the, the third one the second one reads a mirror is rotated through an, a certain angle and the reflected ray rotates the reflected ray x rotates at an angle of 45 degrees what angle had the mirror rotated we are looking for theta then in this case we just write our formula uh, x is equals to 2 theta then now our x in this case is 45 degrees is equals to 2 theta then you divide by 2 you divide it by 2 then now here it will go our x now or our theta our theta in this case will be 45 divided by 2 which is going to give us uh, 22.5 degrees so the the mirror was rotated at an angle of 22.5 degrees then now attempt the third question that is your assignment and then if you get any challenge visit ECLIMU learning simplified where we have multiple of questions with simple solutions that is the end of our lesson today in the next lesson we will discuss the last part of rectilinear propagation of light that is application of plane mirrors